Only listen to hypnosis when you can safely relax. Do not drive and hypno. Make sure that you have the time and space to truly focus on your inner self and innermost being. Hello there, sweet friend. This is Molly Lou. I have created this special meditation to help you experience healthy emotional regulation and to help you cope with any potential manic episodes. This is not meant to cure or treat any sort of illness. This is for your own comfort. After listening to this, you may find yourself more relaxed, more easily to transition with intention between emotional states of your choosing. This may help you navigate the world as you so choose to. Listening to this recording multiple times will help you get the most benefit out of this experience and it will help the information sink in on a deeper level to truly support your subconscious mind. Now, I recommend you find somewhere to comfortably relax. You may choose to be in the seated position, or you may wish to recline. The choice is up to you. Now, as we begin this beautiful journey together, take in a few deep breaths and close your eyes as you feel ready. Now, you may notice that a beautiful healing light is starting to come in through the top of your head. Do you notice that now? Do you feel it? Sense it? Know it's there? How are you experiencing this? What color is this healing light. You may notice a tingling sensation on the top of your head. And as it comes in through the top of your head and slowly begins filling your entire body with a healing sense of calm, you notice Everywhere it goes, begins to relax deeper and deeper. First through the top of your head, in through your neck, into your forehead, into the jawbone and cheeks and mouth. Relaxing all of those once tense muscles. As it spreads down safely and securely through your neck, into your shoulders, down, down, down through your arms, it almost feels as if your body 
is beginning to fill with sand. You may begin to feel heavier and heavier, but it feels warm and safe and nice and cozy. As it fills your hands and your fingertips, you may notice that it starts to come out the tips of your fingers just like sand. It fills your abdomen, your hips, filling your joints deeply and beautifully relaxed, sweet friend. It goes down your thighs, into your knees, softening the joints. This light filling sand fills up your calf muscles, the balls of your feet, your heels, the tops of your feet, and even each one of your toes. And then, just as the sand begins to pour out of your fingertips, it begins to pour out of your toes. And the longer this sand is being released, the less tension you seem to have. It's almost as if the sand itself is the tension falling from your body. And the light that takes its place is so healing and safe and warm Now, as you're deeply and beautifully relaxed, you may notice something. As you walk to your mailbox and you open the mailbox, you may notice this in your mind's eye and see it, or you may just know that it's there. There's no wrong way to have this experience. It's yours to have however you may have it. And as you reach this mailbox and you reach in, you pull out a really interesting looking envelope. And you are so excited because you know that this is something good. As you go back to your house and open the envelope very carefully because it feels like there's something inside, something heavier than a normal envelope. And as you open it, you see that inside is a special looking key. Now you recognize this type of key almost right away. It's a car key. And that explains the weight of this very special envelope. And as you read the letter inside, your heart fills with excitement. You just won a brand new car with no strings attached. You decide to go and pick up your new car. As you arrive to the dealership and you look around the lot, you realize you already know what color this car might be. In fact, you find this color very healing and comforting to you. It's almost as if 
they knew what color car you might want. Now, you get inside of your brand new car to take it for a spin. When you notice that this car isn't an automatic, it is a manual, it's a stick shift. Now you've driven one before, but you know that every manual car has its own little sweet spot that you have to find. You have to press the clutch just right. And you have to really learn and adjust to the feeling of when it's time to switch gears. Now, you can look at different signs as well as just the feel. You know that you can look at the RPM, make sure it stays in a safe space, and recognize when it's out of whack or too far or too low. You know that this is a sign to change gears. But each car is just a little bit different. So you decide to go on a drive to get a feel for this car. Now, as you start to drive, the car stalls out a couple times. That's okay. It's normal. Sometimes cars stall out, especially as we get used to them. You take a few deep breaths and you really feel for that sweet spot as you press the clutch with your left foot. Then you remember that the sweet spot feels a certain way. It's almost as if your body becomes one with the car and it gets in a rhythm. Now, as you find that rhythm, you decide to drive around on some old back roads so you can get experience with this car and you don't have to worry about other people being on the road or dealing with busy traffic just yet. Now, you realize as you shift gears that you know what it feels like when a gear is too high. The car might start feeling jumpy, it might be a little sputtery, but all you have to do is shift down just a little bit and you are in control because you know that you and the car have an understanding and an energetic connection. After all, you won the car. Only you. You were meant for this. It was meant for you. And as you're driving along, and you start to pick up speed, you may notice that there's a bit of a humming sound coming from the car. And the car just feels a little tense, a little tight. And you know that this feeling, it means it's time to shift to a higher gear. And you do so effortlessly and easily and comfortably. Now, you drive along enjoying this backcountry road, shifting up 
and down as necessary. And you decide it's time to really open up this new car and really get a feel for what it's capable of. And why wouldn't you? So you take it onto a big stretch of open road. Now, you slowly go faster and faster and faster. And then suddenly, all at once, you speed up and you make sure to go into the highest gear that this car offers. Now, you feel safe when this happens because you know all you have to do is slow down and shift back down and everything will be fine. Now you pass a sign that says speed limit is 40. This is a normal speed for this area and type of road. You know that each type of road has a different speed that's right for it to keep the cars and the people that use it safe and sound. And as you think about this, you realize that you had your fun and you opened up this car, but it feels much better to go this safe speed. So you safely and calmly take a few minutes to downshift and slow down because you are in control. Now, you have had a really good time with this car and you feel very connected and very capable of driving it. And you're ready to go on the busy roads. Now, the busy roads in the city, there's a lot of starting and stopping and it could be quite hilly at times. So going up and stopping and then down and stopping, you have to change the speed and the gears quite often. But you know that you are capable of this and you are confident that you can do this however you need to, wherever you need to do it. And as you drive uphill, there's a surprise red light that you weren't expecting. You know just how to shift the gears and slow down with plenty of comfortable time that you don't even worry about hitting the car in front of you. And you don't because you've got this under control. This is your car and you know how to drive it. Now, suddenly you come to an area where the speed drops from 60 to 35 and there is barely a warning but you gently press on the brakes and you slow down and you do get to 35 not right away but you get there as soon as you can and safely so. And that's what's important. Because you know that if you did it too fast, that your tires would peel out or your brakes would start to really get worn down and ruined or your shocks. It's just not worth it. And if you go too slow, you know that eventually 
you might get pulled over or hit a car in front of you. So you know just how long it takes to get from 60 to 35. And you do so safely and confidently. Now you decide to drive back home to your apartment and you realize that you have to parallel park. But you know exactly what you're doing. The space is a little bit tight and you have to do quite a few different point turns but you park beautifully perfectly in the space just like you planned just like you knew you could and it took just as long as it took to get the job done safely and healthy perfect balance you are a very capable and safe driver now as you get out of your car and you lock the door because you know the choices you need to make to keep this car running you know the maintenance and the safety features that you need to use to really have the best experience with your car. It requires regular maintenance and consistent care. But that's okay. Because you deserve this car. And you know just what it needs and just what to do. You have it in control. And as we end this journey, as you walk up the stairs, back into your home, back into full consciousness, out of hypnosis, you trust that all of these skills can be applied to your life whenever you need them. Whether it's a car or your own bodily vessel, an emotional regulation system, you know that whenever you need to, you can have the help from me, your friend Molly Lou, and you can listen to this recording as many times as you need to. You take the first step. One, two, three. Starting to feel more centered in your body. Four, five, six. More connected, feeling the air on your face. Coming back. Five, six, seven, coming back into full consciousness, eight, nine, ten, eyes open, wide awake, and ready to navigate the world however you need to do so.